Hello everyone. We are going to draw our Greg Mike Loudmouth characters on Sketches School. So if you stopped the lesson video because you wanted to draw this on your iPad this week, you are in the right place. I'm going to tap on my Sketches School app, and yes, you see the one I did for practice. I'll show you that one again in a moment. I'm going to tap on a blank canvas. And to get started, I'm going to go ahead and change my background just to have it done so that I can draw my characters on top of it. So I'm going to go over to my color picker. I think I'm going to choose, hmm, choose a light blue. Oops. First, I need to choose my prayer, my fill tool, make sure I have it on the gradient that I want, and then I can tap and change my entire screen to the color that I chose. You can pick whatever color you want. You do not have to pick light blue, but I would recommend go ahead and go over to the corner once you change your screen and pick another color so it stands out. Uh, so you don't think, wait, where my color picker were? go? All right, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our characters. And to do that, I'm going to click on or tap on rather the ABC. And I am going to select the square. So I'm going to take my square with my fingers and I'm going to drag it over to one side because we're going to show symmetrical balance. So I'm putting two characters on my screen and I'm going to make it right about there. I think that's where I want my square to be. And once I have it where I want, I'm going to hit the check mark. Now I want to also go ahead and put the second character, position them on the screen. So I'm going to tap my color picker again. I think I'm going to go with a green character this time. I'm going to go back to ABC, select the square, and I'm going to pull and make that right about here. And Greg Mike does create some round characters too. If you wanted to do circle characters, that is fine. All right, remember symmetrical balance does not have to be same or be perfectly identical. So this is, that's fine. If they're located there on the screen, we're good. Hit the check mark. We're gonna stay on the ABC for a little bit here because I'm gonna choose a white. I'm gonna go back to my ABC and I'm gonna choose the circle. So I'm gonna take my circle, make it a little bit smaller because these are the eyes. And I'm gonna position an eye right here. Now let's see if this will work. My screen's a little sticky, or it's, it's got a, my screen's one of those grippy screens that's made for a stylus. So it's kind of hard for me to do this. If I press down, it should let me, there we go, bring one over. It's really hard for me to do on this screen protector, but hey, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but there we go. I like that. So I've got two eyes for this character. Oops, check mark. I'm gonna do this character. I'm gonna make this character a one-eyed character because he does have some one-eyed characters. So I'm gonna give this one one big eye. Kind of reminds me of the character from Monsters. Have you ever seen that Disney movie, Monsters Inc.? I'm give him one big eye right here. This will all make sense when we're done. Right now it's like, well, I've got circles and squares everywhere. All right, now we gotta talk about our character's eyes. Now. You could do this one of two ways. You could give them, I'm gonna give my characters blue. Oops, oops, didn't wanna do that just yet. If you do that, just hit back to the white and then hit the check mark. And then I'm gonna give my characters blue eyes. I will have unity. That way they will have blue eyes. I'm doing cool colors for this one. And then I'm gonna go back and choose the blue. So I want this to be smaller. Pinch in there. Then the uh, white of the eye, make it a little bit smaller. Now I do have a hard time getting the tap tapping on this and then getting it to pull over. Oh, I did it that time though. Hey, hey, hey. So there we go. And then I like how that looks. 
I got, you know what? I'm going to give this other character a light purple eye. Just because I can. So my unity is coming. It looks like everything belongs here because of the cool colors that I'm choosing. Because it makes the eyes a little bigger, make the iris a little bit bigger. There we go. Ooh, that's a little too big. There we go. All right, so we've got our eyes in. Hit the check mark. Don't forget the check mark. If you wanted to, this is it's really hard to do with the teeny tiny circles. You could just draw them in with a marker on here. You can go to the check mark. Let me make me the check mark. Go to the color picker, pick black, go back, make another circle for the iris of your eye. I'm sorry, the pupil of your eye. Wrong one. The iris is the colored part. If you make it a little bit smaller, pinch it in there and drop it. Let me show you how you can, if you want to, go with a marker, have it on the largest size. Swipe this out of the way. Swipe out of the way. And draw your pupil in that way too. All right. If you want to, you can give your character a nose. I didn't want to do that. Let me swipe back out here and get my tools. If you wanted to give them a nose, I might, let's see here. Go with that. You could draw it in, draw a circle for their nose if you wanted to. Uh, or you can do it freehand and fill it in. You could fill it in by going like this. Or by doing the fill tool. Oops. Or what I'm going to do, because I like the way it looks better, and if you don't like it this way, that's okay. I am going to just draw it. I like the way this looks better. But if you're sick of all the, the circles looking exactly the same, You might want to draw yours in. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I'll give this one. He kind of looks funny with a nose. I might not give him a nose. I'm not going to give him a If you ever you don't like the shape, you just hit the X. Since this one's got one eye, it's going to be a Cyclops. I'm not going to uh, give this one a nose. But I am going to give them their mouth. So I'm going to hit the check mark. And hit the check mark. Hit the color picker. I don't know why I'm calling a check mark. I'm going to choose a square for the mouth. Turn it. Alrighty, that's about the size I want. So I've got the mouth in. And then I'm going to put another one over here. And then, oh, don't do that. Hit the check mark. <laughs> Go to the color picker. Choose a white. We're going to give our character some teeth. So we're gonna use that square again. Pinch it smaller. Alrighty. You can give them as many teeth as you'd like, and they can be going, they can be crooked teeth, it doesn't matter. And give this one a tooth as well. I might give him, I'll give him more teeth since he only has one eye. <laughs> You can also draw the teeth freehand with your finger if you want to, but we're using a lot of geometric shapes so far for this project. Okay, check mark. I'm going to close this. Oops, come back. I'm going to choose the, I'll start with this, the pen. I'm going to go back to that pink color, and I'm going to give my characters, oops, a tongue. So you're going to need to make sure that you connect the shape completely. And I do believe I've got that connected completely, because if you don't, you won't be able to fill it. Okay, so I've got my tongue drawn. 
just two curbish, curved lines and I connect them with a longer curved line at the bottom. I'm going to tap on the brayer. And then I'm going to fill it in. Now there may be some spaces that don't get filled in. That's okay. You just go back to this and you can drag it across. And fill it in that way. And don't worry if there's a little bit that doesn't get colored. We're not going to worry about that. It's okay. It makes it unique. And then we're going to do the same thing for this character. The truth is a little bit different, but I didn't connect it. Gotta fix that. Gotta fix that. If you don't connect it, you'll turn your whole character pink. If you wanted to give them a different colored tongue, you could. I put it on the brayer. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Alrighty, and then I'm going to go back to my brush. Now I'm using the same brush again, even though it has a little bit smaller point to it, because if I use a different one, sometimes it'll color it in a little bit different color, because it's a different type of brush. There's a reason for it. Trust me. <laughs> Alright, so this is what I have so far. We have our loud mouth characters. They have balanced symmetry. Or symmetrical balance rather if i were to draw a line through them they'd be about the same on each side so let's go and add some other elements and you don't have to do cool colors if you don't want to you can use any colors you want i'm going to put it on this one and i am going to add some polka dots i'm going to try to keep with my cool colors Oops. oh i see what i'm doing i don't want to do that Oh, I don't want to do that either. If you swipe with your two fingers across, you can erase your mistakes. It's pretty, pretty fabulous. If you think about it, <laughs> let's go with this one. Get it out of the way. So I'm going to add some polka dots. You do not have to add polka dots. You can add zigzags. You can add stripes. All right, so I've got my polka dots about where I wanted them to be. If you wanted to add anything else, I might go to a, hmm, change. We'll go with that green. Let me swipe out here. Hello. And you could add some other elements as well. If you want to add some dashes oops, or some, oh, I don't like that color. Get rid of that. I might, hmm, dark blue. I'm going to add some, kind of remind me of giant sprinkles. <laughs> To my background here and then if you wanted to I'm gonna put that on white I'm gonna swipe over and grab my ABC tool and I'm gonna grab the talking bubble because a lot of Greg Mike's characters they talk or they're saying things they're all happy things they're all things that are positive and encourage us to do good so I'm going to make my bubble Hit the check mark, and then I'm going to go over here and change my color. I'm going to choose black for my piping here. I'm going to go with the Chelsea font, and then I'm going to type Be Kind. Tap down. I'm going to move it so that it's in my circle and actually I can twist it a little bit if I want to change the size see woo I won't do that though <laughs> so my character's gonna be saying be kind with the check mark and then I'm done all right so here is our loudmouths in the style of Greg Mike uh you could have designed yours a little bit differently than I did mine let me show you another one 
that I did. If you need some inspo, move it out of the way. For this one, I was doing my, my Unity was in choosing complementary colors. I did orange and green and blue and purple. Uh, actually, I did, yeah, orange and green and blue and purple, sorry. Um, and yellow, that was the other one, yellow. I was using complementary colors with each other. So this is another style you could have chosen as well for your loudmouth characters. This was a little uh, unique. They're kind of cartoony, but I hope you had fun creating your loudmouths. I look forward to seeing them. Uh, and I will be back with another Sketches School how-to when we return from winter break. Stay safe, make good choices. I'll talk to you soon.